Google Ads tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your first Google Ads campaign. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So this is the website right here, ads.google.com. And once you come over here, you will see that it's a pretty decent website and we can get started right away by just simply clicking on the start now button over here or signing in over here. It all depends on you. I mean, either way, it's, it's gonna take you to the initial stages of beginning this process. So let's just click on start now and just wait a couple of seconds and over here it's going to generate a new campaign for us and as you can see it's written over here new campaign and over here it's going to generate a new campaign for us over here as you can see uh, i had started a campaign earlier so i'm going to go ahead and start a new campaign from the beginning and over here we have two options this is the smart mode or you could call it like over here basically you just input your advertising goal over here whether it is to get more calls get more website sales or signups get more visits to your physical location or get more brand awareness with video views or stuff like that choosing this option it will make it a pre-made campaign for you and then you can go ahead and choose that or you can switch to the expert mode over here this will allow you to have more options and you can see what you are choosing and what you are not choosing i recommend going with the expert mode because it just gives you that level of you know control over your campaign so what i'm going to do is i'm just simply going to go ahead and switch to expert mode because it is better than the uh, smart mode and then as you can see our campaign has begun and as you can see over here we have to choose our objective now it's sales whether it's leads website traffic product and brand awareness or you know or outreach app promotion local store visits or create a campaign without a goals guidance this one will allow you to create a campaign that doesn't have a goal and you can just figure it out later on as you move on while creating the campaign but let's just say that our goal is to get more website clicks right what we're going to do is we're just simply going to click on website traffic and over here basically shows you what type of ad you want so over here you will see we have the search ad we have the display ad and we have the discovery ad now how do these basically look like so if i come over here i just simply search for anything on google anything or you know i just search for like a website let's say watches then over here as you can see this website right here this is an ad this one is an ad you know the first three or four websites are usually an ad and these are search ads as well so this is how it's going to look like and if you're going to go over to the display section then you will see on youtube if i come over here right if i just uh play any video let's say we're playing this video right here and then over here as you can see this ad right here this is an ad this is how the display ad looks like and for the discovery one it's going to be over here and add at the bottom somewhere around here so this is what the discovery ad looks like so what we want is since we want the website views so we're going to have like the search you know over here the search results and since we want this and we're just going to choose search and then at the bottom over here we're going to input our website over here you website url so we're just simply going to put our website over here and we're just simply going to click on continue and over here we actually begin with our campaign so we have four steps we have to select the campaign settings we have to set up the ad group and we have to create the ad and then we have the billing options and then our campaign will be finished and we are good to go so let's get started so over here we just enter in the name of our campaign so for this one we'll just call it um website traffic test yeah i think that would look pretty good and then over here this is going to be the goal over here as you had said before now as you can see this is what i was talking about if you select the expert mode you will be able to see what you are getting so since we chose search network we didn't want to have display ads but this is still giving us display ads whether we choose it or not so we don't want this so this is what i was talking about if you choose expert mode you will see these small little loopholes where you will have to pay a little bit extra but if now since i've unchecked it i won't have to pay for that ad so this is what i was talking about if you get the chance always go with the expert mode and look at all of the settings and options available to you and after that we have the most important part we have to select the location now you have to understand that the location you select will also depend upon what types of ad you will get and how much you will pay for that ad so for example if you are choosing like let's say america 
like all over America, you're not choosing a specific country, you're choosing the entire American continent, then you won't have to pay as much. All right. But if you chose like a specific city in a specific country, then you will have to pay a little bit more because now it is a targeted audience and targeted audience always, you know, cost more. So keep that in mind. So for now, I'm just going to leave it at that. Then you have your languages over here. You input the languages. Basically, the more languages you add, you know, the better it is for the people in that specific area to understand. And since English is the most common language, we're going to leave it at that. And then we have the second important thing. We have the budget, the budget and bidding. So over here, remember that your budget is going to be shown over here. All right. So let me just change it to dollars so that more people can understand. There we go. All right. So over here, we just enter in the budget. So let's just say that your budget for your campaign is somewhere around, let's say, $1,200, which is still not a lot. But considering this will be your first campaign, I think you should at least set that much into it. So let's just say $1,200. All right. And then over here, what do you want to focus on? All right. Oh, I'm sorry. This is your daily budget, not your entire budget. So you have to be sure you have to put it as low as possible right so set your daily budget as low as possible that will help you a lot so for example since this is your first campaign then i would suggest you put like five dollars per budget per day this will be your daily budget so this will cost you around like a hundred and fifty dollars per month something like that and maybe like eighteen hundred dollars per year if it goes right yeah so keep it like that keep it as low as possible so that you know a single ad does not exceed this much and then you have your bidding option so what do you want to focus on it's clicks recommends you know you have impression share you have conversion rate and stuff like that and since we do want like um, website clicks so we're going to choose clicks and over here set a maximum cost per click bid limit so we'll just call over here add like two dollars yeah so that way that we don't have to pay a more than just two dollars per click you can even put one if you want but i think two is fine and then this is really really good so you have ad extensions now these are completely free and they've shown that they would get 15 percent higher click-through rate by showing additional information but i've seen that you know it's a little bit more than 15 like quite a lot a bit more like i would say like at 10 percent more like at the total 25 percent higher than the average ads if you add extensions over here you just simply have to add in your phone number you know your call out extension your site links you know whatever you want and the more information you add the better more people will be able to you know trust you because uh, if i see an ad and there's a number over there or uh, you know a link i'll just go ahead and quickly visit and check them out it's really simple so make sure you add your numbers and extensions over here they're completely free and they have a really really good benefit as well so once everything is set up we'll just click on next and move over to part number two where we set up our ad group so over here it's really simple you just add in your ad group name all right so we'll just call it ad group test and then down below you have keywords now if you add in your website all right your website is up and running then you know google ads will look at that website and then give you keywords according to that website and over here you will have a bunch of different keywords that you can change so you have three keywords in total you have keyword which is like a broad match and then you have keywords in quotes which is like a phrase match and then you have keyword in brackets which is the exact match so you have to add keywords in these terms so for example if i just write uh media agency now this will be a broad term keyword and whenever someone searches for media agencies chances are maybe 50 50 that my website will pop up now if i add like let's just say in brackets media agency then this will be an a phrase match this will make me have a better chance of you know reaching up at the top and then we will say the exact match for example if our agency is in new york or new jersey or in any, any specific country or city then we'll put the brackets in right and we'll call it media agency in new york now this will be the exact match this will be a word to word exact match so anyone who will search for this thing right here word for word then our website will be shown at the top because we have the exact match so it's really simple it's really good so i'm going to go ahead and add like a bunch of keywords best agency of 2022 new media 
agency all in one media agency and once you've added the keyword just simply click on save and continue and your keyword group will be set and now you will be arrived on step number three where you have to actually add the ad so over here just add in your website all right add in a bunch of headlines now these headlines are really really important because this will help us to you know strengthen our ad and as our ad is more stronger that will mean that it is most likely to reach higher up in the search tabs so it's really really good and over here we have to have these four things available we have to add more headlights we have to include popular keywords in the headlights make sure our headlines are more unique and make sure our description is more unique as well so it's really good so we have to add these and then our ad strength will pop up so over here just add in your headline uh let's just say best media agency over here this will be a good headline all right we'll add a bunch of more and then we'll add description and i will show you at the end that the ad strength has increased okay so as you can see everything looks good our strength just went up and now we just simply click on done and click on save and continue and after that we set up the billing option so this is basically pretty standard you just enter in your time zone all right you just enter in your country anything you want and you just enter in your payment method your payment profile you add in your organization your car details and you just simply click on submit and you're boom you're good to go and your ad will be live and you can check up on it later on so that is how you basically create a ad campaign in google ads and i hope you guys have found this video helpful and understanding and if you guys found it helpful be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye mm -hmm.